The South Korean and United States Air Forces have joined up to conduct a training session for search and rescue operations involving distressed jet pilots. Friday's exercises involved a total of 16 Air Force planes from both countries working together to practice how to react when a pilot evacuates over enemy soil. Um, today I was acting as a survivor for the search and rescue exercise, working with the ROC Air Force. Um, it's practice for us to go out and uh, simulate me being a downed pilot. Or The first thing the soldiers had to do in the training was locate the distressed pilot. And after that, they check for any possible enemy threat in the area before search and rescue forces take off to retrieve the pilot. Guarded by Korean Air Force KF-16 fighter jets and the U.S. Air Force's A-10C, the HH-60 Korean rescue helicopter successfully completes the mission by taking the pilot to safety. Through the training, I've gained 100% confidence in the search and rescue operation. The two allies have held joint search and rescue operation trainings for distressed soldiers since 2008. Korean forces have earned a reputation for rescue missions after they successfully saved U.S. pilots after two crashes involving fighter jets near Kunsan in 2003 and 2006. Kim Nari, Arirang News.